fired at Brush, and he's not even here, so he can't he can't come back at me, right? That's the fun of this. Yes. But yeah, good to be here. August Lowink, we have a banger of a set coming up. We're looking at Rewind versus Shellfire. And this is what? This is losers round four. So we're going to spend a lot of time looking at some losers here before we get back in the grand finals. Rewind is in this one after losing to Manta Boat Fan Club two sets ago. They got 3 0'd by them. It is historically a fact that if you lose in winner semifinals in low ink, you have a horrible opportunity to get a win here in losers round four. The reason being, you just coming off your loss, you are playing against the team that is at minimum on a two-game winning streak. Shellfire is on a three-game winning streak, so there's clashing momentum coming on right here in this best three set. And if you see on the bottom side of the bracket, it's the same exact thing. Sonora, who just lost in semifinals of winners, they're currently losing. To the hybrid family who's been spending a lot of time in losers bracket so history is heavily against rewind in this set they're looking to uh they don't care about history because rewind is not used to being in this position anyways it's been that kind of a low ink. yeah i mean rewind is looking to start turning things around right after their uh w winners side of the bracket going to 2-1 against blorp god 502 and Spatialicious with a 3-0 victory as well. That's a 3-0 or 0-3, I should say, against Mana Boat Fan Club. You know, might have deterred them a little bit, but they know they could turn things around. And they're not as warmed up as Shellfire probably is, but they're raring to go like any other team here. We are gonna be kicking this one off. Of, wait, power controls game one? There, I thought these were splat zones. Did brush? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, uh, the, the very rare tower control game one here in loser's side of the bracket and uh well there we go hey that's the crab edit i love to see crab edit with a dynamo for your cooler it's an interesting choice gets a lot of pain on the ground as we're playing just as far back as you would see the pencil as we're going to see on the side of shellfire as well he's kind of poking around getting those coolers out Right away, a flank trades out one on the side. It's going to be player advantage for Rewind. Um, they're trying to make some kind of play here moving forward. It's going to be Shellfire, though, pushing this tower a little more forward. Two players on the side here, and a 2v1 gets off with a trade. It's going to count out here. Another player, Reef Flyer, trying to find another pick. Runs into another, taking them out. That player's name was Bored AF, but they're using Dapples. The, the, the Blapples, the Blue Dapples. That, is that it would you think a player with that name would be using something like pencil or splatter shot but no or maybe it is they're so bored of using weapons that are meta that they're like you know what i'm just gonna use this silly weapon right here get some reef sliders going throw some torpedoes at people to annoy the hell out of them and see how that works out so far it has been working out unless it has <laughs> unless you get picked off on the side there uh, immediately caught out. A lot of just trades going back and forth here. I mean, Rewind was able to get close to that first checkpoint, looking for another opportunity here, trying to open some stuff up with these strikes. Reef Slider, though, comes out, gets one. Can board AF, lock it on the side here, and get out in time before the Slosher picks him off. They're gonna actually just try to stay in this fight, having to be forced to back up because the Neo Machine's gonna come on out. Oh, but they get a little overzealous here, and the Slosher getting both of them from before, just turning into a 1v1 situation both times. If you're in a machine versus slosher fight, the machine's got more range than you. You gotta find a way to close that gap. Instead, they retreat and let the machine slide up into them, closing the gap for them, able to get the spot right there. Very nice. First checkpoint finally going towards Shellfire. They're probably gonna be able to get a lead here as they keep going forward and start to clear this checkpoint. Just look at the members here of Shellfire. Completely on the enemy spawn here. We do have the Slosher trying to flank around on their side, but that's gonna put them out of play. They're forced to jump back, wasting even more time. Might as well just be a delayed wipeout as they're gonna look to clear the second checkpoint. Strikes come out, board AF on the top right. One will go down, get another pick on the Slosher. It's a 2v2 situation. It is now only board AF here. As they get oh. the pick, it's keep it alive. This player is very active and doing a very great job for somebody who's apparently bored out of their mind. 
playing in the losers uh, quarterfinals of low link here. But the bleeding has been stopped as Rewind hoping to rewind this game back into their favor and just got sliced right through by uh, somebody riding on an inflatable dolphin. Uh, one player left alive for Shellfire, Shellfire though. Trying to keep it alive. Bala as like much as they can. Forced to jump out. Rewind's going to be pushing forward for their opportunity here. Try not to go down to Azuka, but the uh, machine will take him out there at the end. Strikes come out, forcing this first checkpoint not to completely clear. Reese is going to have to back up as the rest of the members of Rewind are now going to fight forward, but they're going to go a couple players down. Crab's going to get poked out by the pencil. The rest of the players are going to start pushing them out. Dynamo on a flank for whatever reason. Tried to find a good opportunity here. Now it goes a couple more players. It's going to be Rewind with player advantage. I like the Dynamo going on that right side. You can just like arc shots overneath in that little uh, like pit area, especially if you have control, complete control of that little alleyway, which is what you want to do if you want to win in this map and mode. Control the flanking areas right there. So, you know, when you, when you got all that space to work around, <laughs> well, okay, would you rather have your Dynamo <laughs> flank or try to roll people over and lead them to charge? I, I like them on the flank. Yeah, if I had to choose between those two, I definitely push my dynamo to be on the side flanking. That's gonna be a full wipeout though, uh, in Shellfire's favor, and they're wasting no time taking that space, making sure they have plenty of opportunity, building up those specials, moving forward with only 30 seconds left to go. They want to get this tower as far away from their side of the map as possible, as this cooler might just get destroyed by this tower if it's pushed by them at all. <laughs> I was about to say, they might want to get that cooler as far away from the tower as possible as well. But they're not going to be in a pushing the tower kind of move. They got this lead. They, uh, they're they opting not to give the tower over directly to them instead. Let's just make sure we don't overextend. Let's start backing up. We got soda in us, so if we get splatted, who cares? And one player can be enough to get onto the tower to slow it down. Shell fire takes game one in this best of three set. Taking it in loser bracket fashion on their win streak. So far, it continues. If this goes like the previous set, we might be looking forward to a game three. But for right now, for solid first game, a solid lead, solid hold overall. Making a rewind have to kind of fight for this. They're going to have to pull out all the stops as they are now one game away from being out of, uh, out of this tournament. Now, as I'm looking at rewind's team name, it, a thought just crossed my mind. Uh, Cactus, what is the earliest form of, like, digital media that you remember? Like, if you were, what is the, what is the first memory of a movie you remember seeing? First memory of a movie? Yes, a movie. Uh, well, when I was really young, I remember being brought to a Harry Potter movie in theaters that I fell asleep at. I mean, can you blame me? I was like six. Well, let's say um, like at home, like what oh, at was home? the first? Yeah, on like a like a VHS. Okay. Oh, that's right. You are a uh, you are a fellow older person. Yeah, I, I'm, I, not a, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not Gen Alpha. No skin okay. for for me. But have you, when was the last time you used the term rewind? Because a rewind came from like well, even before VHS, it probably was like the cassette tapes that was in mm -hmm. the car that you were listening to there. But how often would you actually use the word rewind in today's terminology? Maybe if you're watching a video on YouTube, but even then you're not rewinding anything. You're just like, just going back to that. Thoughts for later yeah. as I'm trying to stall here. We're going into game two. That is still a dynamo and that is still a dapples to go along with the uh, splatter shot there. So not much has changed from either side. What are we doing? Clan blitz here? Yes. Clam Blitz, classic on Scourge Gorge, looking for great opportunities to take uh, some good map control, especially if you're able to hold that center in the tower in the middle. You have a great viewpoint, especially for your back line, the heavy edit can get on there, especially with Crab. You can look at some great push advantages if you're on Rewind, but right away we're seeing kind of Shellfire doing a good job at just pushing forward, forcing the members of Rewind kind of back into their spawn a little bit on their elbow, and not really able to make many plays looking forward. It's really just uh, a, a trade battle in the center as what, uh, specials are coming out. Players are looking for anyone they can try to pick off, go forward. A nice pick by the Dynamo from the top rope. Looking like Randy Orton over here. 
<laughs> if I'm rewind here and I'm trying to figure out how I can activate my edit versus this pencil that we're going up against. Uh, the edit player name, Reezy. I'm trying to get into mid and use my crab. That seems like to be the best kind of scenario dealing with right there because pencil is the natural predator to all splatlings. But if we can find ways to get that crab going in mid, rewind should be in a good position to start moving up. Oh, but Shellfire's got bored AF kind of pulling pull in the extra work right now, right? They're going around making themselves be really ratty around the, the map. Unfortunately, getting picked off of there, but they're back in no time. Probably running a ton of QR as uh, any Bullies player would. Uh, feeding forward, trying to get these picks. Here's Zedra looking for a good opportunity to find some players with their slosher. Panning around close to strikes as well. So keep a lot so that player alive. Have a good opportunity to take over the elbow. Cooler it up, trying to find players that are on the side. Dynamo will go down a little bit uh, ahead. It looks like their flank didn't work this time. Not a clear flank uh, opportunity as it was in the previous map, but force to jump out is going to be that edit. They're gonna have to reset here as now the map's looking pretty good for Shellfire. Has the pencil moved at all? Have, have they just been under that like little canopy area up top there? That little, like, uh, zip caster basket. Okay, now they're starting to push up because they've got control of mid. Okay, a little more but forward now, a little more forward. It's, but my, my point being, it seems like Rewind has not displaced that pencil whatsoever. And as a result of it, they can't go to mid, and they can't even push past this minimum podium. And they're just waiting for the inevitable, which is Shellfire starting to push up right here. And they might have a re-slider to lead the charge in the next couple of seconds. Yeah, and the Clam Economy is looking really good right now. This could be a massive push if played correctly by Shellfire. They have the players in pretty good positions here. Scores going to count down below 70. Eee. Dynamo gets picked off, jumping down from that height. One player trying to rush to Pencil. They're going to get picked off or stay alive. Jumps coming on in. Skippy is everything but trying to stay still as the points count down more towards 59. That might be it for the push as the Pencil to try to make another power clam built as they're still just being fully aggressive here holding this front line if this pencil does not get splatted rewind is not going to win this game this push should be over right here and if i'm if i want to get back into this one i'm pulling forward with rewind right now i'm trying to get them a little bit off kiltered and it's already too late how do you gosh that doesn't feel like a splat you should be getting but all the way from across mid, they're still doing damage. Baskets popped wide open yet again. And young Bob right here leading the charge. Now, Skippy, Skippy talks. Is the players the certain push-up throwing a lot of clams in right now? You don't want to overextend if you're Shellfire. You don't want to overdo this. It looks like they're doing a good job of just that. They're throwing their clams in, staying alive, keeping the map control, getting the splats on top of this. This set might be over real soon. Yeah, I mean, unless Rewind can find a great opportunity to start pushing forward, they have roughly two power clams made that could be a, enough for a, a good push, but it won't be enough. They have to really pull out all the stops, have a consistent stagger on the side of Shellfire, force them back, try to get off this pencil, which is exactly what Reeves is trying to do here. Peach is going to go in with the Dynamo, a little bit of the frontline action with it. Runs out of ink just a little bit at the end here. This is going to be the start of their score, but with two players going down and the strikes forcing the other two to back up, this is going to be probably a wipeout for Rewind, and Shellfire will prot protect this basket with only one power clamp sneaking through. There we go. Oh, you know what? I'm looking at the wrong thing right there. There we go. 25 seconds <laughs> left to go. <laughs> so we see another power clamp jumping right in on the backside. Uh... Yeah, Board AF doing a great job. <laughs> yeah, Board AF now just oh, trucking oh. on this side here. There's still a lot. A couple more seconds to go. Picked out a little early trying to find a pick. We'll stay alive. This is going to be it. The final 20 seconds of overtime as Rewind will have a Pity Clam and another Power Clam made to start getting things going. But that Pencil's holding them back. The Slosher and Bullies are just throwing a bunch of subs on the side. Strikes will come out to push some of the players back, kind of quarter them in that front area. Can they find a couple picks to go forward? No, they get stopped out from players being on the snipe. Zedro's going to try to make a play going forward, gets one, but gets wiped out, and <laughs> it doesn't score in time. I did not... Fire. I didn't look for this, and of course we're not going to see the stats, so we're going to have no way of knowing. I don't think the pencil died at all. If they did, it was at a moment where it didn't really matter. Like, maybe they were pushing up or something like that. Yeah. Um, but there's just nothing. I mean, that that's the problem. 
when you don't have anything to get rid of the pencil or when you don't have anything ready to get rid of the pencil, they just control all that space. And they get so much soda in them that the Dapple player can, can just three keep throwing themselves over and over at that one spot. And eventually it's going to connect and they're going to get the splats and bust the door wide open as they need to do. And the losing winners round three curse continues as Rewind gets sucked into that curse. They're eliminated and is the same team Sonora that was in the same boat as Rewind. They got two out as well. Shellfire and the Hybrid Family that are on four game winning streaks are going to collide in winners, uh, losers semifinals.